So a very common question that you might see a lot of new developers ask is, should I learn WordPress? And WordPress, despite being very dated, at this point is almost 20 years old, it is still very widely used. It's used by around 40% of websites on the internet, and it's still growing in popularity to this day. And so, while I was making this video, I watched a few other videos asking the question, should you learn WordPress? And they answered it by just showing the statistics like that. They opened up a jobs website like Indeed and showed all the different WordPress jobs there were in their local area. And they just went on to say that, see, there's so many WordPress jobs available. There's so much opportunity here that, of course, you should learn WordPress. Of course, it's still relevant and you should just go ahead and learn it. And I'm not going to lie to you and say that the opportunity is not there. There still is plenty of opportunity to be had in the WordPress space. I'm not going to try to dissuade you from that. Chances are, if you learn WordPress and you learn it well, then you probably are going to get a decent job or be able to pay the bills freelancing. But there is more to it than just the job market, the opportunity in there. And I just wanted to offer my opinion. So I'm actually a WordPress developer or I have been for almost 10 years now. So I started with WordPress 10 years ago. I sent out a million cold emails to a whole bunch of businesses in my area, and that was how I got my first client. I built them a WordPress website, and well, the rest is history. And so over the years, I have spent a lot of time building WordPress websites, and so that's why I think I'm qualified to give you an opinion on if you should learn WordPress or not, because most people who are getting into WordPress are probably going to get a job or do some freelancing just building some small brochure style websites. So I'm talking about small to medium sized websites for a business where they tell a little bit about their business, maybe have a basic blog, maybe have a few different pages or landing pages explaining their business, and just something like that. It's nothing too complicated. But if you wanna get into that niche, well, let me just be blunt and tell you that it's very oversaturated right now. So there are tons of people who already have these skills and the amount of people who can download a theme from ThemeForest, install a few plugins, and get you up with a basic website, there are just tons of these people out there, and you're not going to be anything special by learning WordPress. Not to mention that there are other alternatives that people can use now, like Squarespace, Wix, Webflow, and a lot of these services are going to be filling the same niche as WordPress, maybe even doing it better, and costing the customer less. So there was a time when I was just making these basic brochure websites, and some of my clients would ask me, why don't I use Squarespace or Wix? And to be honest, I couldn't really give them a great answer. I would just say something like, WordPress is a little bit better with SEO. You can customize WordPress a little bit more than these other ones, but there just isn't a great reason to use WordPress over something like that anymore. So that's what I mean when I say that the market is just very oversaturated right now for these small business websites. And so if you wanna get a job doing this or maybe start freelancing making WordPress websites, then you're really going to have to do more than just being able to install a theme and install some plugins and set up a basic layout for your website. So there are a lot of different things that you can do. Maybe you're really interested in SEO and you can promise your client that you'll get them on the first page of Google for their preferred keywords. Or maybe you really care about web performance and you can tell them that their website is going to load in under a second. Maybe you can be the local WordPress guy and only do WordPress websites in your small town. Or you can even go deeper with WordPress and learn how to make custom plugins and really be able to add a lot of custom functionality to people's websites. Something like that is going to be much more valuable than just the basic, I can make a website for you. And to be quite honest, if you do do the basic approach where you download a theme from ThemeForest and build it with some popular page builder plugins, you're probably going to be pretty miserable because I've done this before and the experience is just not great because a lot of these themes that you download online, they're gonna be so buggy and so poorly maintained, so poorly documented. There's going to be almost no documentation. And that goes double for all of these page builder plugins. There's some that are better than others, but most of them are just going to be a giant headache to create with. It would just be much easier just to use basic HTML and CSS to build this out. Honestly, making the same layout inside one of these page builders is supposed to be easy, but with all the weird little quirks and bugs of each of these page builders, for me, it actually takes maybe twice as long to build one of these pages. 
And if you really want some specific style, you're probably just going to have to get your hands dirty with some custom HTML and CSS anyway. And to make matters worse, these page builders give you the impression that anybody can make a website and maybe your client will want to add some pages or add some sections to their website using these page builders and they'll just completely mess up the website and mess up the layout. And it's not even your client's fault that they messed up the page layout. Most of the time these page builders are going to be so poorly put together that you really have to be an expert in one of these page builders in order to learn all the quirks and idiosyncrasies of this specific page builder. And my clients would call me because I'm the only person who knows how to handle this page builder and wrangle it into submission. And even if you want to build your WordPress websites immaculately, so you don't have to use all of these bloated buggy page builders, you don't have to use a million of the poorly written plugins that are in WordPress. And in fact, I might do a video sometime later on how to actually build a good non-bloated WordPress website that doesn't have giant page builders and all of these overcomplicated themes, but are still easy for your clients to go in and change things when they need them. I might do a video on that later, but you can still build good WordPress websites. But the thing is, you're not the only one going to be building WordPress websites. So maybe you'll get a client that hands you off a website that has already been built by somebody else, and it's just a disaster. Like there's a hundred plugins in there that haven't been updated for ages, and going through and trying to fix everything and work with all the different plugins that are in conflict with each other it is just a nightmare. I have worked on websites like that before and I probably lost years off of my life doing things like that so I really can't recommend that to anyone. And also let me just say that I don't really think WordPress is the right tool for the job most of the time. And so WordPress started as a blogging platform first and foremost so you do have to keep that in mind that it wasn't really designed to be all of these different things. So with plugins you can turn it into kind of a square space, you can add a bunch of e-commerce functionality, and that sort of works. But some people try to make it so complicated and try to do so much more than it was originally meant to do that it just becomes kind of a Frankenstein of all of these different plugins together. And let's be honest, some things WordPress is just not suited for. I've had clients that wanted to build a full featured marketplace where people could log in and sign up and buy and sell all these different things and maybe it's technically possible with WordPress but it would just be so much better if it was built as a fully featured web application from the start not using the WordPress framework to begin with just because it's not what WordPress is for again if you make kind of a Frankenstein's monster of all these different plugins maybe you can get some of those functionalities but it's just not going to be the best or most efficient way to do it. So instead of using WordPress, you would just make it as a fully featured web application. And to be honest, even for simple brochure websites, I don't really think that WordPress is the best tool for the job. So if you just want a very basic website that you just set and forget about, you would probably be better off just putting in an HTML website. A lot of clients want a WordPress website so they can go back and make any changes if they really want to. But to be honest, a lot of clients, they don't actually ever touch it. So they want this functionality, but maybe they change one thing in the next two years. And in that case, they can just send you a message if they want you to change something. Or you can get a lot better performance by using a static site generator. I've made videos on Hugo before, which is a very popular static site generator. And this is a tool that basically just compiles a bunch of content and makes static HTML and CSS pages. It doesn't have to query a database like WordPress does. And so just because it doesn't have to query a database every single time you load a page, it's going to be much faster than WordPress. And you can configure these tools to have a CMS as well so that your client can go in and add blog posts or change the content of some pages, add some news item. I have another video on that if you'd like to check that out. So a lot of times you're going to get better results by just using something other than WordPress. And most of the time, your clients are not going to be that sold on WordPress. I've talked to some clients before and just convinced them by saying that, okay, honestly, WordPress is not the best tool for this job. It's probably going to be slower than it needs to be. And for this specific website, I think we should just use this instead. And if they trust me enough, then they will follow my lead. Because a lot of times your clients just want a WordPress website just because that's what they've heard of. They have some friends who also have a WordPress website and they haven't actually done any research to see if it's the best tool for the job. That's just what they know, so that's what they're going to choose. 
And finally, one last reason why I don't really like working with WordPress is that you're not really going to grow as a developer. So I spent maybe five years of my life just making the same website over and over with a few different tweaks. So I would build my client a custom theme with a bunch of custom HTML and CSS and all of that. I would create the layouts for them, add a few plugins, and then I would just repeat that for every single new website I made. And it gets to be very boring work after a while. Maybe with some new project you're going to have to be a little creative and think of something outside of the box, but most of the time it's just going to be the same work again and again. And to be honest, that's not what I want from web development. So one of the reasons why I got into web development is because I like learning new things. So I started getting more into JavaScript and React.js and building more fully featured web applications. And to be honest, it's a ton of fun just because you're always figuring out new things, you're problem solving, and you have to learn new technologies sometimes and wrap your head around new concepts and new ways to do things. And that's what I really like about the web. It's a growing platform. Not all of these changes are good changes and sometimes the old way to do things is the best way. But a lot of times I learn something new, some new web technology or some new web framework and it just totally changes the way I do things. And it makes things much easier for me, much more efficient. And that's what I love about web development. Just learning as I grow always developing new skills, and it keeps you fresh. And if I were to spend the next 10 or 20 years of my life just doing the same monotonous tasks again and again, I think I would go crazy. And that's why I don't really like WordPress. Now, of course, like I said, you can do more. You can get into WordPress plugin development, or maybe you could really become an expert on page performance or SEO. But just building basic WordPress websites is not going to be fun at all. And I wanna save you from a lifetime of drudgery. And so I don't want to completely dissuade you from WordPress. If it's something you're really interested in, then give it a shot. But just do keep all the things that I said in mind. And this is coming from a seasoned WordPress developer, so I do know what I'm talking about. So if I was to start as a new web developer today, then I probably wouldn't learn WordPress, to be honest. A lot of things that I have been learning recently, like Hugo, the static site generator that I was talking about before, or maybe some JavaScript framework like React.js or Vue.js, I would be much more inclined to learn one of those after I learned the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I'd much rather learn one of those than to learn something like WordPress now. Just because WordPress is still relevant, and yes, you can still get work doing WordPress today, but I don't really see a glorious future for WordPress in the future. For me, I just see more of the same. If you really love WordPress as a backend or as a CMS, you can check out some things like Headless WordPress, which is basically keeping the CMS of WordPress, but using more modern technologies like a static site generator on the front end. So there are some things that you can be excited about, but just the day-to-day -day status quo of WordPress as it has been, I don't really see that much to get excited about. So I wouldn't really get into it if it was me dipping my toes into web development. So maybe check out some of those technologies if you're interested, but that's just my honest opinion. I would encourage you to explore all the different facets of web development. It is a very broad field and just see what you like doing the most. Because much more important than getting a job or getting money is enjoying what you do. And with web development, I think that you really have the opportunity to do creative and interesting things. And so hopefully this video encourages you to go out and do that instead of just building another WordPress website using the same theme forest theme and the Elementor page builder.